Hi, welcome again to 5 Minute Revit. Today we will see array tips and tricks and uh, the best practice. Uh, some, many, uh, some many new users, they ask me sometime why uh, I have this uh, group when I do array. And uh, some many, they don't like the way uh, it's done in Revit. I will give you a best practice in this episode how it works. Like uh, I have this table and I want to make a linear array here. I select a table and I go here to array button okay i click on the array button and i have my option bar my option bar i always said it's uh, very very useful and sometimes there is some hidden tools there okay and i go like for five table here and i go move to the last i select here and i go to the last here like that i have like five now i click here and when I select here, I have this mess. What is this mess? I select here a table and I have array group, okay? And I don't like that because one table is a group and it's not good. Like some people, they, they complain and they say, okay, I don't want, I want to modify. And they go one by one on group it. They selected and they on group it. They selected and they on group it. And that it's, it's not a, a good way to work and you may you you lose time i select all that and i delete all that okay now what i do i will show you the best practice to avoid this mess how to do it i select like here a table and i go here to do array now i look to my option bar and you see here group and associate okay uncheck that friends okay uncheck that now you can do how much you want how like here i have five how many table and then i select from here and i go to for example here now i have my table i can also go to instance parameter or type and change but you say okay um i have a question what why if i want to group them it's easy the best way like to select law all of them and go here like for example i go for filter here but you can select the way you like it i have like here this five element and i can go to group them where i go i go here i create a group and i like you can change the name here i just i keep it group one and now i have a group okay when i have a group now you can continue if you have like you want to put the table here you can just right click create similar and you place your group here and you align it if you want that's some time uh, save time and it's sometimes it's very efficient like uh, you see here now you can have a group and if you don't want to group it you don't li uh, like to group it depending uh, depend on how you work on Revit. i hope this uh, this uh, small tips and uh, tricks uh, help you uh, to avoid uh, so many groups for nothing